It's been a little while since we got a new permanent big change in this server, but who have thought? Who have thought? About what? That a young buck like you could actually do the right thing and avoid getting his sorry butt kicked out the game. Back. Sounds like a wise fella to win in this league. Today it was unveiled by the team that the arcade lobby got a big overhaul. The first lobby overhaul I've seen in a while, and alongside it, the full arcade release of the dropper. Yeah, remember that one? I don't blame you if you don't. While I'm currently working on some much bigger videos that I can talk about soon, for the time being, I'll go over everything there is to know about this new arcade update, my thoughts on it, what the overall consensus seems to be, and if this approach might be used for other game modes as well. Before I get into it, I'm currently hosting a big season long giveaway lasting all the way until November. Anyone can win and if you want to be the next winner click the annotation in the corner here to learn how to enter. So like I just said Dropper has been officially added to the arcade and honestly that's fine it's a good fit for it though the prototype lobby is slowly starting to feel like one of those abandoned malls that loses all its tenants. I'm really surprised at the lack of usage of the prototype lobby in recent years. If anything I guess it just proves more so how unexpected the success of Skyblock was to the team. Included with this Dropper release is private game support for MVP++, with the ability to choose the difficulty of the maps played, and map packs. Dropper now has 60 maps! Cause that's a lot, players can now only vote between 15 predetermined maps. As expected, there have also been some quality of life changes added, like replay support and message format tweaking, as well as some new achievements to make those hunters happy. Game wise, I still don't have fun though, because sweat culture destroys everything it touches, including this game. Yeah you guys, you know who you are. Easily the standout of this update however, is the new arcade lobby, whether that's for the better or for the worse to you. The feel of the new lobby is very well done. The build team tends to come through when it comes to that. It kind of brings back the colors of the first lobby, but at the same time, feels up to date. Also, Snake is a good time waster. Who have th it's a balanced, well done mixture of the two lobbies. The update also features a new NPC layout that has caused a little bit of scrutiny within the community, which I don't think is warranted. Here's exactly what changed. Excluding seasonal games, there are now 7 NPCs featured in the middle of the lobby. Zombies, Dropper, and Party Games, the three in the middle, will always be there no matter what. The other four on the outside are subject to a game mode rotation. Three rotate between medium popular games, while the last one rotates through the least played game modes. And to the right of these NPCs is another NPC that grants you the ability to play any of these arcade games whenever you want. The main concern from players right now with the NPC layout is that a lot of the arcade games that had small player numbers will dive bomb even further, due to the placement of the all games NPC on the side of the lobby rather than the front, combined with the games not being front and center all of the time which I think is a big stretch. We all saw what these game numbers were beforehand, right? Is there really any difference between 8 players in a game all the time that takes 16 to start and 0 for a day or two before it goes up to playable? Every game mode is going to be featured, and if the game mode in question is a good one that people like, their play count will go up when they get their turn. That previous arcade NPC layout was a bit too much. Why do you think Bed Wars also has a rotation mode in its lobby? Because otherwise there would be way too many NPCs. With this, everyone gets a chance to shine. In said thread, they even say that rotation will be monitored and altered if necessary. I also have to assume that the center spot here is going to be reserved for the seasonal arcade games when it's their time to shine. I think the immediate reaction, like most reactions to changes on here nowadays, has jumped the gun. Usually I get player concerns when it comes to updates, but this time I just don't see it. When a lot of the arcade games already weren't starting, what makes anyone think that keeping the same system was going to improve anything. In the immediate future, sure, maybe some games might take a while to build up a stable player base, but this NPC change was clearly meant as a long-term solution. Khan has gone on to say that they're seeing immediate benefits as a result of this update. Players have stopped giving things a chance to sit in the oven, and that needs to stop. Looking at a lot of the responses, the forums so far have not given me a reason to really regret me deleting my account, I'll say that. And I've talked before about the obvious realization that the non-Skyblack team hasn't been on par with the Skyblack block team, but when they do things that have benefits and help with real concerns, we have to acknowledge it. And the team did an above average job with this update, and I hope that track continues. What do you guys think? Is this arcade update a win? An L? No opinion? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Peace.